Good morning, my friends. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion. I decided to set up camp in Laughlin, Nevada last night. I'd never been to Laughlin. I just wanted to check it out. Really great time. And you won't believe this. I was eating in the casino downstairs. There's a restaurant in there. And uh, I'm walking through with my food to go back to my table. And I actually run into one of the few people I follow on Instagram who um, was a former classmate of mine. This is a guy that I have known since junior high school. We literally just ran into each other. He was here with a group of friends and it was just, what are the odds, you know? I guess that's just my life. So it was destined to be, it was really cool to get to hang out, have a meal together. And today we're off to do some more vlogging. Maybe we'll meet up with him in a couple of days. But um, today what I wanna do is ultimate destination, the Grand Canyon. But there's something on a vlog along the way, so Days of Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. Coming up straight ahead is Don Laughlin's Riverside Casino. He is the one who bought the town and wanted to name the town Casino or Riverside, and they said, nope, but we'll let you name it Laughlin, so it's now Laughlin, named after him. You're welcome. I had a great time. Man, look at that nature. Beautiful geology. We vlogging today, guys. Well, you know, I love movie locations and I want to go see the Grand Canyon. I've never been there ever in my life. And one of the things that I always think of when I think of the Grand Canyon and I think movies is I think of National Lampoon's Vacation. So we're going to hit the memorable Arizona stops here through Flagstaff and to the Grand Canyon. So we basically are driving about three hours for our first stop. There's our welcome to Arizona sign. I feel like I can just hear the theme song, maybe the most catchy song of all time for any movie, Lindsey Buckingham's Holiday Road. Definitely not Christy Brinkley. Here's a sign for the Grand Canyon. 103 miles. I think I might stop off here in Seligman. I just saw a sign for the Roadkill Cafe. Kind of like to try it. I mean, it's another famous place in America I've never been. You kill it, we grill it. So let's check it out. The birthplace of Route 66. history to the jail here then they've got a little ghost town here all right here we are the roadkill cafe oh this is awesome this is what road tripping is all about finding places like this and there's the roadkill cafe holy cow I think this will be a wise decision, wise stop here. I think already what I'm looking at, I think I might get the uh, bird that smacked the curb, the Reuben. Or should we go with the mystery meat, or the roadkill platter, or the funky skunk? Through this door have passed the finest cowboys in the West. Here's the bar. Oh, cool. Dude, look at that. And that. Oh, look at the moose. And then they have like a whole display in here. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. This actually was not a planned stop or anything. I just was passing by and said, ah, let's stop and see what's going on. Look at all the people that have signed dollar bills. And then look over here, Michael Martin Murphy. The guy who did Wildfire has been here. Today's vlog really will feel like a Griswold's vlog. Yeah, yeah, so we're doing a National Lampoon vacation vlog. Chevy Chase movie, Hilarious, starring Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, directed by Harold Ramis. And um, it's just your classic road tripping movie, family road trip. And what we're gonna do today is we're going to, uh, we're gonna go to where Clark Griswold is trying to pump gas for the first time after we eat here. All right, there we go. There's the Roadkill Cafe meal of the day. Some potato salad and a Reuben, basically. 
The food is excellent. I highly recommend the food here. Did you notice who the tonsorial is? Doc Holiday. We got the uh, the barber pole here, and then some sort of weird cowboy here. It's kind of cool. See his little sheriff badge. <laughs> Let's go in the jail before we take off. I realized I didn't go in. I'm kind of curious. Looks like we got a real Mayberry operation going on here. my friends we are done here let's hit the road let's move on to Flagstaff we'll come back here again some other day well something told me when I saw this off to the side of the road it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go check it out especially when you see a car that says dinosaur city Arizona and a window that says Clint Eastwood on it right up there by the open sign yeah take a look at this amazing place Did you see what the record said? That was awesome. Well, that's inventive for a flower planner. Toilet and Volkswagen. See who's driving. So like I said, look at the record. Elvis Hound Dog. That is pretty interesting. <laughs> I love it. It's a souvenir shop. Oh, take a look at this. This is awesome. This is great. Look, this old Seligman police car. And then you've got an airplane flying into the building and a truck driving out of the building. Neat! Some Route 66 signs. Oh, check this out, how incredible. First off, you know, I dig the frog band up here. And the use of the motorcycle right there. But yeah, check this out, this is awesome. Okay, that was just a mandatory stop. We had to check out all that kind of cool stuff. Now let's get back on the road. <laughs> we'll check out the rest of this craziness the next time we come through. Off to the side of the freeway, I could see they're building this. Looks like some sort of retreat center, but I just thought it was really incredible. Look at that. All right, we are almost at destination one of three. Well, we've made it to the Little America gas station stop. As seen in Forrest Gump, it's also in National Lampoon's Vacation. Well, here we are. It's actually the semi-pumping station that they were using for this. And it looks a little bit different, but you can tell this is exactly where it is. Right here where this pump is because Clark pulls the family truckster up here. And you know, he's traded in Ellen's car for this road trip and they gave him the wrong car. And then destroyed their car, so he didn't have a choice. So he pulls up here and he gets out and the car is actually pointed that direction. So he comes over here looking for the gas pump um, on the car, can't find it. Then walks around, can't find it over here. And then notices the car over here, the lady pulls her license plate down to pump the gas. So 
he starts to do the same thing and then pulls the license plate off and accidentally like whips it all the way across her car and you can see this in the background. So that's how you know it was right here. That's a great scene though. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's in a nutshell this entire trip because while he's doing all this and slings that license plate across there, Ellen hops out on the passenger side and notices on the hood that that's where you pump the gas right up in the front. And she says, aren't you supposed to pump the gas up here, Clark? He goes, yeah, honey, I'm just fixing the license plate. <laughs> and then, so what the, this was used in for Forrest Gump is uh, they filmed the scene where he wipes his face with the shirt and they do the smiley face shirt where he's out running. That happens here. Now, sequentially in the movie, our next stop would actually be the Grand Canyon, but we'll do that after because uh, when they say that they're taking Aunt Edna to Cousin Normie's house, in Phoenix, it's actually here in Flagstaff. You remember when they made the stop to see Catherine and Eddie, um, they were surprised by finding out that they're taking Aunt Edna to Phoenix and uh, Aunt Edna dies along the way. So they go to Cousin Normie's house anyway. Now in this movie, when it rains, it pours and literally in this scene, she not only dies, but it is pouring down rain when they try to bring her to Cousin Normie's house. Here it is, Cousin Normie's house. They come pulling up in this driveway in the rain, go up to the front door, and Cousin Normie left a note saying, went to Flagstaff, be back on Monday. So they run Aunt Edna's body around the back and put an umbrella over top of her, and they leave her there because Clark says they're only going to have three days in California at this rate, so... They just abandoned her here. Cousin Normies. There behind that gate is where they would have left her. Well, I pulled off to get a glimpse of the sign. I've never been here. It's my first time here. Let's go enjoy the Grand Canyon. We are officially inside the park. It is $35 to enter the park for one to seven days. Well, here we are, last location of the day for National Lampoon's vacation, the El Tovar. So this should look familiar. This is the El Tovar. This is where, um, after Clark has had a major setback with the finances, he comes here to try and cash his check. Let's go on in and take a look. Take a look at this. Wow. All right, so I was confused because I found the one and only staircase in here and it goes in a different direction than what it looks like when Chevy Chase runs past it. But in here, um, they did not film the interiors. I just asked the guy at the front desk, he said he thinks they actually filmed that, the interiors um, in uh, a place in Williamsburg. But he said they did use the exteriors here, obviously. But what we would have, um, you know, basically saw in the movie is when Chevy Chase is trying to um, cash a check and they don't want to cash that check. So he's arguing with the guy and he says, Look, I'll give you a thousand dollars just to give me 300 in cash and you can keep the other 700. And the guy says, The only thing you can do is stay here for 10 days until the check clears. And the guy walks off and then Chevy Chase, like, smashes his fist down on the desk and the register opens he shoves his check in there takes the money and runs out the door so after clark grabs the money he comes running out the front doors right here and you see the cars out here and he runs over to where we're going to next and the family's over there looking at the grand canyon right outside is the hopi house it's a native american structure and then right over here, straight over this cliff, is the Grand Canyon. My first view, just like you, or all of us together. Wow. That is magnificent. Of course, <laughs> after Clark 
takes all the money out of the register and puts his check in there. He comes running out here and sees the family out here looking at the Grand Canyon and uh, hustles them along. Normally this would be something you'd want to take in, but since he's pretty much on the go, on the run from stealing that money, they got to get going. Let's walk over here and get another view. And another view. I think that's my favorite. You guys know I don't like heights, but this is pretty breathtaking. Well, my friends, we're going to call it a day. I want to thank Rodney Backoff for becoming my newest Patreon. And thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed going to the Roadkill Cafe and hanging out in Seligman and stopping off and checking out some National Lampoon's vacation sites as well as the Grand Canyon. Have a great night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.